Hey everybody, it's Dr. Cody Roll with Tech for Psych. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a really cool program called Muse Monitor, which is a third-party app designed by James Clutterbuck, and he has done an awesome job with this app. I'm super excited to talk about it. But real quick, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notifications when I upload new content. Thanks for your support with Tech for Psych. So getting back to Muse Monitor, uh, if you guys remember way back when, a couple of years ago, uh, I posted a video about how to analyze your own brainwave data and map that to 3D heads. Well, what that was is me taking people through the process of using uh, Interaxon, which makes the Muse, their software called Muse.io and Muse Lab to actually record raw EEG from your Muse headband. You had Muse.io, which is an in and out program for streaming through Bluetooth from the headband itself, and then that would get uh, loaded up into Muse Lab. So you would open up the streaming service in Muse Lab and be able to record the data within Muse Lab and see the graph tracings. And then you could export from there and do a CSV file into Excel or uh, other programs like EEG Lab from UCSD and map out that brainwave data. It was very labor intensive, lots of steps. Uh, they had good tutorials on the website but uh, definitely needed a tutorial. And not to say that this app doesn't need a tutorial as well, but it has been much, much more simplified now than what it used to be. Now, Muse Monitor was around back then, but I remember it just being this uh, program that you could have on your phone that would show the brainwave tracings and didn't have as much functionality as it does now. But the, the way that I became aware of how much it had been developed is that uh, I was on the Facebook group, the Muse community, and certain users were showing these awesome uh, multicolored graphs of their raw EEG brain waves during different meditation sessions or other cognitive exercises. And people were commenting on the graphs, giving feedback and all this amazing back and forth. I was like, what are these graphs that they're showing? And it was the Muse monitor program that uh, James Clutterbuck had designed. So basically, um, you know, we're gonna take a look at the app here in a second, but it has a lot of functionality. You can take a look at a bunch of different graphs, including a heat map, the gyroscope, accelerometer, the individual uh, frequency breakdowns. It's as easy as just clicking record on the app uh, on your tablet or your phone. And then you can actually sync up your Dropbox account to the app so that when it records your data, automatically uploads it to Dropbox. And then it's as easy as downloading the CSV file from Dropbox and dropping it into an online uh, graph generator and getting those cool multicolored graphs that you can share with other people that are interested in EEG brainwave technology. The other thing about Muse Monitor too is that the, these other companies that allow you to record your raw EEG data usually have some kind of subscription service where you're paying a monthly fee, all this stuff. And Muse Monitor, uh, you know, I think it used to be $15, now it's $10 that you can pay on the App Store and you have access to the app for the foreseeable future to record and display your own brainwaves, which is super cool. Enough about that, we're gonna dive into the tutorial, taking a look at Muse Monitor, awesome work. As for the tutorial section of this video, the Muse Monitor app can be found easily in the Apple or Google Play stores under Muse Monitor. If you have any qualms at all about using this technology, there's a great Muse Monitor website that really explains a lot with links to the app downloads, a list of available features, and a totally awesome online graphing system for data that you record with the app. We'll get to that in a bit. Going back to available features, you can see that there's a lot of functionality to this app to suit everyone from individual users who are new to EEG technology to advanced researchers looking to publish data in scientific journals. A person can record the data and export it in multiple formats to include CSV, have that data upload directly to a Dropbox account or stream it directly to a laptop or desktop hard drive. It records and produces all kinds of data to include the absolute wave values, the EEG wave frequency breakdowns through fast Fourier transformation, raw microvolt levels, and professional grade spectrograms. There is a section of the website that describes what each quote unquote Muse element data point represents. If you have more questions about how brainwaves are broken down into individual brainwave frequencies and interpreted, you can check out the links below to some of my other previous videos that explore those topics in depth. 
Now here on the website, we have different graph forms and some information on how to read them and what they mean. They are very cool to look at, but I would say their interpretation is more suited for neuroscientists and serious users, which is fine. Uh, the file upload system that I'll show you here is perfect for someone that doesn't want to totally get caught up in the weeds and just see what their individual brainwave frequencies are during various tasks like meditation. And we'll get to that in a bit. So the whole process of recording the data and getting your own brainwave graph is very straightforward. Uh, just get out your Muse headband. I've been pretty much always applying water to the electrodes these days just because it gives a better connection for readings when I'm recording data or meditating. It just makes things easier and it's a habit by now. I also usually pull the size adjustment almost all the way out without straining the device, put the forehead sensors against my forehead, and cinch the ear sensors to behind my ears. It usually has a better fit that way. Something else that I also recommend these days is that if you're using a tablet or a phone, get a little holder that'll clamp down on the side of your desk. There's tons of cheap ones on Amazon uh, so that you're just not jostling multiple devices or craning your neck to see the screen when it's laying flat on the table. Uh, here you have it cranked up so that it's easier to see. Uh, it'll make the session go easier. It's just you'll get more consistent brainwave data when you're not moving around all the time or uncomfortable because muscle tension can definitely affect the EEG signal. Once you pull up the Muse Monitor app, put your Muse into Bluetooth pairing mode. The Muse Monitor app will work both with uh, the Muse 2014 and 16, as well as the Muse 2 hardware. So all the iterations that Interaxon has put out are covered. Uh, once you're connected, the brainwave readings will come right up, even before the Muse is on your head. But as soon as you put it on, it starts getting the accurate readings of your brainwaves. As you can see, it's pretty cool to toggle through the heat map, the gyroscope and accelerometer readings, the individual brainwave frequency graphs and other similar displays. And then you can go, also go into the settings and choose which data is actually displayed on the graph any one time. Also, the instructions on the website are present in the app as well for your viewing pleasure. So you can hit the record button at any time in the app and it will start recording your brainwave data. You can sync up the Muse Monitor app to your Dropbox account ahead of time and it will automatically upload the CSV data to your Dropbox account, which is so nice. And from there, you can go to your Dropbox on the internet, on your laptop or PC. You can download the data onto your desktop Here's the raw data from a little session I did this afternoon. I was pretty tired, so I didn't do much of a meditation, but you get the idea. And from there, it was very, very easy to go to the Muse Monitor website, take that CSV file, drop it in the online graph, and voila, you have a totally cool graph that shows the breakdown of the brainwave frequencies that you can play with for your own education, share on social media sites like the Muse Facebook community. Uh, there have been people in that group that have been sharing data all the time, data from different types of meditation, cognitive exercises, you name it. And it's so cool because other people comment and offer interpretations. The age of democratized brain data is truly here. Now, I would say that this program is a bit more versatile and easy to use than Muse Direct for the individual user at this point. If you're a researcher looking to record data from multiple users on a Windows platform for research purposes, you might gravitate towards Muse Direct at this time. But I would have to say that James Clutterbuck nailed it on the Muse Monitor here for the individual user. And the adoption of Muse Monitor by the Muse community in the Facebook group speaks for itself this time. Uh, I'm sure that Interaxon will be further developing Muse Direct in the near future but their concentration seems to be more on making the meditation app uh, with the Muse headband the best it can be at the moment, which is totally fine. Uh, I say democratize the technology and let some amazing programmers like uh, James Clutterbuck uh, do the community good by creating these third-party apps that are just awesome. Fine by me. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial on Muse Monitor and a glimpse at the Muse community. If you want to join the Muse community, find and message Sky Shapiro on Facebook and ask for access. She's the current moderator for the group. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out my coaching page at www.techforsyke.com slash coaching. That's all for today. Happy Musing, happy Muse Monitoring, happy Mind Lifting. Just have a good day in general.